I'm Gail, Senior Recruiter at Parker Staffing Services, and I've lived in West Seattle almost 15 years now. Um, West Seattle is actually the birthplace of Seattle. We're located southwest of downtown on its own peninsula. We round out Elliott Bay to the east and the rest of Puget Sound, both to the north and west. And West Seattle is kind of like its own town with its own breakdown of neighborhoods. And we'll actually visit four of the most popular today, which are Alki, Admiral, Lincoln Park, and The Junction. West Seattle residents comprise of high income families with children, uh, mid to high income young couples, as well as high income middle aged couples. The median age of West Seattleites is about 42 and a half, and we have a population density of about 22% less than Seattle as a whole. And what that means is basically we're not all crammed together in apartment buildings. Um, we have actually room to spread out and breathe. What I love most about West Seattle is it has kind of that small town feel. I personally don't have a car, so I can actually walk right out of my house and at my fingertips there's grocery stores, banks, drug stores, restaurants, specialty shops, you name it, it's just right here. But at the same time, approximately 15 to 30 minutes away, whether you're in a car or a bus, you can be right downtown Seattle in the heart of everything. So if you're thinking about renting in West Seattle, the median rent above a one bedroom it's going up. I have some statistics for you. Um, the average West Seattleite will pay about $1,175 for a studio apartment, $1,271 for a one bedroom, and $2,070 for a two bedroom. And although that may sound steep, West Seattle makes up for it with other amenities. One of which being that we have a high walk score and great transit service, which means that you can go car free no car payments, no gas to pay for. We also have great restaurants and shops. We have beautiful views, parks and beaches. And um, on the second Thursday of the month, we have an art walk. We have um, the farmer's market on Sundays. And we also have the West Seattle Festival, which is a weekend in July where we block off two to three blocks of the West Seattle Junction. So that's a question based solely on preference. If you like your car and you wanna bring it with you, West Seattle can accommodate you. Depending on if you're in an apartment building, there's garages. Um, if you're renting or buying a house, you've got driveways, um, street parking, as well as parking lots. As I mentioned before, my husband and I have chosen to go car free. We get around very easily just using the, the bus lines transit as well as other services like Zipcar and Car2Go. So enough about that. Let me show you some of the best neighborhoods in West Seattle. Let's go. Hi, it's Gail again. Welcome to Alki, home of Alki Beach and also the birthplace of Seattle. Um, it was founded first by the Denny Party that came over. Uh, most of them were from New York and so they called it New York Alki. Hence Statue of Liberty behind me. Um, Alki means by and by or eventually in the Chinook language. Um, they abandoned Alki and moved across the water to the east shore of Elliott Bay, which is now called Pioneer Square. So this is Alki Beach proper, and you know how everybody says it rains all the time in Seattle? Well, this is typical spring and summer weather in Seattle with highs typically around mid to upper 70s, which is perfect weather for Seattleites to enjoy the beach. We're in the home of the Admiral neighborhood, also called the Admiral Junction, which could be the site for your next date night. With the Admiral Theater just a couple feet away here, as well as many restaurants and bars locally. This is a wonderful neighborhood with beautiful homes and very family-friendly atmosphere. Hi, 
great. If the concrete jungle is getting to you, you can come to Lincoln Park where you can take a walk in nature. Um, there's also a lot to do here. There's ballparks, tennis courts, um, playgrounds, a pool nearby. So there's a lot to, to take advantage of here in, in the Lincoln Park area. And rumor also has it that the West Seattleite and Pearl Jam frontman Eddie Vedder lives near here as well. Hi, we're in the main junction in West Seattle, also called the Alaska Junction, where Alaska and California meet. Um, this is a great place for everybody, basically. If you're a music lover, there's Easy Street across the way. Uh, there's a record store where they basically have shows on occasion. There's a ton of restaurants, family friendly to bars, something for everybody. Um, there's the Beer Junction for those that really enjoy beer. This is also the home of the West Seattle Festival, the West Fest, that happens on a weekend in July. There's crafts being sold, food, local as well as fair food, lots of fun activities, a carnival for the kids. So it's a wonderful neighborhood. It's all happening here in, um, in the junction. Thanks for joining me in my neighborhood. Hope to see you again soon.